Hey everybody, hope you a wonderful day today. My name is Gold Code and today I'm bringing you a Call of Duty video where I'm going to be talking about the state of Call of Duty as it is today. Yesterday I uploaded a video on Overwatch, a little fun clip I got, a really cool clip, and I really did enjoy making that video, really did enjoy getting that clip. Now, I kind of want to touch upon what I said yesterday, how Overwatch is what Call of Duty should, could, and was back in the day, but it isn't anymore. So... In that clip on Overwatch, I just had the most amazing time. I just felt like I was destroying everyone. Now looking back at it, it probably didn't seem that way, but it just felt that way. And it felt nice to like freaking wreck, you know? And that's what Call of Duty has always been for me. Some game I could play and just wreck people, pump stomp, you know? And it's just sad to see that it kind of isn't that way anymore, I suppose. Now, let's talk facts here. It, we are the most toxic community out there. Hands down, we are the most toxic community in any video game online community out there. We are. We will complain. We will find every little thing to complain about. And we will complain. Will we be vocal about it? Hell yes. Because we're loud. And there's no denying that. In every single Call of Duty that I can remember, there has always been something to complain about. Modern Warfare 2, one of the best Call of Duties ever, you know? The one man army new tubes. Everyone complained about it at the time. But after you after getting away from it, you feel nostalgic about it. Black Ops 2, the biggest copy and gaze ever. Can't you find something new? Advanced Warfare, no, you changed too much, bro. We wanted something a little bit new, not too much. Bro, this is too fast. Ghost, the time to kill is way too fast. We wanted a little faster, not that much. We will complain, we will bitch about everything. We will. Now, why am I saying this? Why, why, why am I saying the state of Call of Duty? Because. Infinite Warfare has been set up to fail since the beginning. You know, like the entire Call of Duty community and people outside of the Call of Duty community has just wanting to see Infinite Warfare fail from the very beginning. There are a couple, there are actually there's many people who enjoy the game, such as myself. But there's just too many people out there trashing on the game. And Really, they're only giving excuses on why they don't want to play the game anymore. They're saying the game is incomplete, which I somewhat agree, but it doesn't matter. Does it really change your gaming experience if you don't have an emblem editor? Does it really game change your gaming experience if you don't have a leaderboard? Like, really? You now, I understand the whole thing about Call of Duty not being vocal, not being, you know, telling us what's going on behind the scenes. And I kind of do agree with that. I do believe that... The developers should have communication with the community to an extent. See, I see the developers as someone as an overprotective child, overprotective child, overprotective parent who just likes to nurture and like, oh, try to please the kids way too damn much to the point where they spoil them, and because they've been spoiled, they complain way too much. AKA the community. community. And it shouldn't be like that. I feel like developers such as Treyarch, Sledgehammer, and Infinity Ward, this is mainly directed to Sledgehammer since they're making their next game tomorrow, tomorrow, <laughs> next year, they should really, you know, find that middle ground in between doing what you believe is best for the community, making a game what you believe will people enjoy, and listening to the community. You can't just do everything the community asks you to, because even if you do, they will not be happy. And the truth of the matter is, a lot of people will still be unhappy because you gave them too much. Really, it's just plain and simple. Now, there are some issues that have to be good with the game, you know, like lag. You can't have a lag game, that would suck so much. Time to kill is so much of a factor, but everyone will complain about it no matter what. It's just a feel thing. Nobody, everyone feels it differently. I know I'm just kind of ranting, and that's not how this video is supposed to be. I just think 
the Call of Duty community is way too toxic and way too hateful for the developers to just make a sound judgment on what the community wants and what to give to the community. One thing for certain, we really don't want advanced movement anymore. But that doesn't mean definitely. We don't like never want advanced movement. I just think every couple years or so the game should change around between developers. I don't know how you guys even deal with that with You have seen if you give us something repeatedly the same the same thing over and over again, we will get really upset about it. Why? Because well again we're or bratty, we like to complain. And there's a lot of people who say we like to complain just because, you know, you could make the game better. And sure, that makes sense sometimes, but not if you're just complaining over the s stupidest little thing. I think, I think those people who just complain and complain are just sick with the game and they should honestly just leave. They should. They should stop making this community even more toxic than it already is by complaining and trashing on the community. If you don't like it, just don't play. Let us who do enjoy playing be happy with it. And to the developers, don't worry way too much on what the community might think. Yes, it is important that we're happy, but you cannot please everyone. It is impossible. So just trust your gut, go with your judgment, and hope for the best. If you agree with me, go ahead and click the like button. If not, just go ahead and roast me. I don't give a damn. No, I would like to say that I didn't really have a script. I just blurted out everything. I, I guess I just ranted. I really just did rant. And if you made all the way through, thank you for going with my rant. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. See you later.